Hi guys, this is my second video against Adlan. Um, I should point out just to the start that we were having just a few battles and um, he wanted to try something out here but I just thought well <laughs> I've got to post this because to be fair it was kind of awesome by my Dragonite. Um, as soon as he uses agility here I start thinking um, yeah Caesar was quite a common baton pass Pokemon um, and even with this agility I'm not really liking it being out because if he uses Sword Stance here, he can either baton pass it or he can, you know, just generally try and sweep me a bit here. So, luckily I used Raw, kind of predicted this one a bit. And, um, yep, as you can see, Raw, which was quite handy, um, that's his Caesar out. And he has, this is Gliscor in, and this is really something to make me think, hmm, this actually could be a baton pass team here. I'm starting to think, definitely. Um, yeah, as you can see, they would have still got damage. Um, I'm kind of glad I had that suspicion. And when he used Taunt, I was definitely a, more than a bit worried. But um, oddly here, I decided to use Steel Wind because I had a, feel, a feeling he was going to taunt me. I just wanted to test out, I thought, save a turn because Gliscor can't use Mean Look. But if he uses Taunt, I'm pretty sure this is a Baton Pass team, so I switch into something he can't set up on. So I switched into Maelstrom last weekend. And I thought, well, this will chase him away because he'll have to switch now because, well, otherwise he's going to get, you know, otherwise he's going to get uh, killed by Surf. So, um, he baton passes anyway into his Vaporeon. And, um, well, I thought, I'm pr this is a baton pass team. I've established that. Um, baton pass Vaporeons don't tend to have an attacking move, or if they do, it'll maybe Surf. So, what I'm going to do is switch into you saying because if I set up with Maelstrom I'm not going to have to do anything to that Vaporeon because they're defensive walls and you know Surf doesn't do anything anyway so it'd be down to Ice Beam switch into you saying he can do it um he used Aqua Ring here and to be honest we can pretty much tell what's going to happen I think um unless he switches which if he's trying to set up a baton pass he's probably not going to do because you know or that would have you know generally got rid of his Aqua Ring which he probably wants to keep up he doesn't. Will Thunderbolt take down this Vaporeon? Because Thunderbolt was bloody good. Especially when my Usain uses it. Let's have a look. The Vaporeon is usually really, really, really hard to take down. It's looking good. It is looking very good. And there we go. Usain, my okay, wise glasses, shall we on? Well, he might have had a, might have had choice specs on in this match, I can't remember. Kind of change him around a bit. Let's have a look. Gliscor. Yeah, I was going to... Obviously, I would switch out here because, well, just because it's Choice Band, it doesn't mean... Uh, choice Band, just because it's um, Baton Pass team doesn't mean that he hasn't got Earthquake or anything, so better to be safe than sorry here. Yeah. Switch out to Valhalla, my Dragonite. The last here is probably going to go for some type of stat boosting move or Taunt or something. Oh, Rock Polish. I suppose that's pretty good if you can for a Baton Pass, get him faster. Bit weird to have two speed boosts on his because he's got agility on his scissor, which I think is a bit odd. Oh well. Anyway, baton pass into scissor. Okay, I don't really see why I would bother baton passing. Whatever, I probably would. But I definitely would have actually saved him a turn if he had just switched. And oh well. Anyway, so I use Aqua Tail because obviously I thought we still had his Gliscor out, and I probably would have taken the Gliscor out. But Caesar is not going to do that much, to be honest. Just under half. He's used the agility now, and I know for a fact he's definitely faster than me now. Um, I was trying to use a Dragon Dance and hoping because Caesar's pretty slow, I might be faster than him if he was only one level of speed higher than me. Don't know if that would have worked or not, but I thought I'd get the Dragon Dance off anyway because, well, now I've got a bit of my 
bit of a stat boosted Pokemon of my own going on, aren't I? Um, yeah. He used his sword stance here, and to be honest, that was a bit of a stupid play because he should have realised that um, if my uh, Aquatile did that much to him without Dragon Dance, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take him out now. But oddly, I decided to ponder wave here because, well, I don't really know, to be honest. I just thought I'd be faster than him. If he hasn't used Swords Dance, if he's gone for Agility or something again, I can use another Dragon Dance. Um, but he used Swords Dance, so there's my Aquatel. It's finished him off quite nicely. There we go. Um, so I'm two up here. And like I said, I should point out, I faced this guy quite a few times. He's beaten me. I've beaten him. It's just a bit of a little... I'm going to say sorry now, Adlan, but I have to show this video because, well... It's my second video, I want to show a few wins, show how good a few of my Pokemon are. Try and, you know, get a get a few decent guys shown. Now, I made a bit of a mistake here because, well, using Dragon Dance, I'm not really that experienced in online battles. I should have realised that Smeagol's kind of basically any move, and there's the Spore, which I really should have predicted because I've actually watched a few battles of Smeagol's in that have Spore, but, oh well. Um... Yeah, I'm not too happy about that, but, yeah. Um, now I'm assuming this Smeagol's going to use something, you know, maybe Swords Dance or a speed boosting move or Calm Mind or something, boost his stats. But, um, he uses Ingrain, and um, to be honest, if you're facing, yeah, if you've got Dragonite asleep, I wouldn't really bother setting up Ingrain, I would use whatever other stat booster moves you've got and then bat and pass out of there, to be honest. Because um, ingrained, if you look up minimal the amount of health it gives you back, not to mention the fact that I'm two dragon dances up, um, it's probably not the safest thing to switch up to uh, set up on. And there we go, dragon eyes awake, outrage, and we're clearly going to take the smeagol down. One, two, three, bang. It's just there's not really any chance of him holding on here, to be perfectly honest. There we go, smeagol is down. Um, you know, I've got my Outrage set up. Um, I'm really, I'm just hoping against hope. It doesn't add anything like a Foratress. Seems like a Celebi, which I think is a bit odd. But, meh. If a, you know, a Celebi is clearly going to go on one hit of Outrage. It's not really going to be able to stand up to it. Um, possibly he's got a Focus Sash on this thing and just forgot about the Stealth Rocks. Or, I don't really know, to be honest. Possibly he thought he would just about hang on. And then he could... Um, do something, might have Thunder Wave on it or something, I don't really know. Can Celebi do Thunder Wave? Spore possibly, I, don't, I really don't know. But perhaps he just thought Celebi would survive and it would kind of stall it a bit. Anyway, there, that's the Celebi down. Um, and uh, here he switches into his Gliscor. Obviously he would have switched into Gliscor because since he's a Baton Pass team, he's always going to have some type of traditional sweeper at the end that he can just try and take me out with. So I suppose he's hoping I'm going to get a confusion. He can set up and bat and pass out, but to be honest, I'm pretty in, in a pretty strong position here. Didn't get the confusion. Outrage. As good as Gliscor's defences are, is clearly not going to survive that. There's the Outrage. Gliscor's gone. Now, of course, I'm definitely confused, so, you know, at least he's got something out of that. You know, I can't really see him taking out all five of my team with whatever this last thing is. But, of course, um, no, it's a Lucario. Of course, I'm confused, so if I hurt myself, and this carries something, possibly Hidden Power Ice, which I think it does, or if not, I don't even know what moves Lucario can learn, really, but Bullet Punch, there we go, clearly just trying to possibly get a crit, trying to take me out, let me know. If I had got a crit, as you can see, it wouldn't quite take me out, but it's worth a go, I suppose. Plus, if I hurt myself in confusion, another one would take me out, but I don't. Aquatail. Look how I'm going to survive that, and that's the 6 nil sweep. Like I said, Adlan, sorry for showing that, but I want to get some new videos on my channel, and um, I do want to make myself look quite good at the start, even as since you've beaten me, you know it's not that really true. Um, anyway, yeah, come on to Pokeboard for you know more battles. Quite a lot of people have been battling lately. Quite a lot of tournaments coming up, so come down, subscribe to the tournaments, and generally have a good time. Cheers, guys.